Hello and welcome to the only room in my house that is currently tidy. Today I'm going to be doing a homewares haul. I did say in my last vlog that I would show you all of my recent purchases because most of it comes from Adairs. There are a few things from Kmart and also Big W. And I also managed to find a couple of really nice things in Woolworths as well. So I thought I would just put them all together in the one video and show you what I got. I'm going to start with what I bought from Big W first. I've got this dinner set here. Oh, it's really heavy. It looks like this. It is the Neutrals 12 piece dinner set. I believe it comes in two colors. You can either get white or gray and I chose the white. But I'll just take out one of the bowls for you because that is like the little section I've already opened. I didn't really need a dinner set, but I saw these on display in the store and I just thought they were so nice. I don't have any bowls that look like this. And I would say it's kind of a very natural color. I love how it looks around the edges and I don't know if you can see, but actually slightly speckled too so yeah I would definitely say this is like the more natural color and I'm pretty sure for that 12 piece set it cost $39 which I think is very reasonable that's a really good price so yeah I definitely recommend checking out Big W for like kitchenware servingware dinnerware if you're looking for those kinds of things because they have some nice things in at the moment and I think I might even go back. Right, I'm going to have to leave that there because it's really heavy. So also from Big W I got these two wooden utensils for the kitchen. The Masterclass Spoon and the Masterclass Turner with an acacia wood handle. I don't remember the exact price of these. I think they might have been $5 each but what I'll do is I will put the price on screen for everything and anything that I can link below for you, I will. And the last thing I got from Big W is this enamel colander. It's the Wiltshire or Wiltshire brand and it's 24 centimeters, ideal for timeless kitchens. Oh, and it's dishwasher safe. I really like that. But I just thought it was really nice with the handles and if you sit it in the sink it's got this bottom part so it's not sitting like straight on the sink if it isn't completely clean it just looks like that it kind of has like a dark blue color around the rim I'm not gonna lie this one was a little bit pricey I think it was $20 but also I feel like if you take care of it, it's something that you could have for a very long time. Okay, so moving on to Woolworths. Again, this Wiltshire brand, this is another wooden turner. For, ideal for stirring and tasting. I like that it says what it's ideal for, but it's also good for a nonstick pan and it's made from beech wood. It just looks like this. It's a bit bigger than the other ones. So I thought that would be good for like pancakes and stuff too. I've had the same like plastic and metal utensils since Kyle and I first moved in together. So they're about 14 years old. And with the spoons, they're starting to like come off of their handles. So I'm just slowly going to try and replace them all with some nicer looking utensils. Yeah, wooden turner. Um, I'm not entirely sure of the price, but again, I will put it on screen and I'll try and link this below if I can. I'm not sure if I can link all of the things from Woolworths, but I'll try my best. The other two things that I got from Woolworths are these storage containers. So it's actually like, it just looks like a really pretty bowl. It's the mint large embossed bowl with lid. It's also microwave and dishwasher safe. 
I just thought these would be so nice to put in the fridge with leftovers and you can't really see what's in there, but it also has a lid that you can microwave it. And I just really love the pattern. It reminds me of like, is it the Japanese tie-dye effect? It kind of reminds me of that. Now I did buy these when they were on special. This larger one I think was around $10. And then the smaller one, I paid around $5, I'm pretty sure. And they just have like the little vent thing for the microwave. They're not exactly the same as each other, but that doesn't matter. I just think these are perfect for leftovers. I can also send a meal in Kyle's lunchbox that he can heat up in this one. Or I can put something for my own lunch in there. And also, the weather's getting so warm, I'm really excited to go on picnics and I feel like these would be really cute to take on a picnic as well. I think I'll show you what I got from Kmart next and I'll leave a dares until last because I have quite a few big things to show you. The first thing I got from Kmart is this rattan wall shelf. I actually got two of these and they were so cheap. I think for pretty much the exact same thing at a dares, it's over a hundred dollars. These were either 19 or 29. I can't remember exactly, but I'll definitely link them below. And I plan on putting these in my bathroom because I think they'll be perfect on the wall to keep all my skincare. I just really want to get it all organized and off of the bench and I I feel like these would be perfect just on the wall, like beside the vanity. Actually, I think I can take this one out because, yes, I did open one of them. So you can get a better look at it. How nice is this? And it's so cheap. And you just have these little fastenings on the back here so that you can put it on the wall. Before I hang these up, I would definitely like to give them a couple of coats of varnish just to protect them and yes I will be taking them to our next place and if you're wondering it actually has the dimensions on the box it says it's 15 centimeters high 60 centimeters wide and 10 centimeters deep I didn't say already I got two of those The next thing I also got for my bathroom wall is this wooden shelf. How pretty is that? And I thought this would be really cute to put maybe a few skincare bits as well, but some plants and maybe a candle and just really decorate it nicely for the wall that's kind of above where the toilet is next to the window this was also very affordable i think it was only 29 dollars and i don't have the box anymore because kyle threw it away okay now we're on to a desk the next item i want to show you is huge i'm not sure exactly how i'm going to do this but hang on a second oh it's so heavy here we go it's a laundry basket. This is the most expensive laundry basket I've ever purchased in my life. But all of the things I did get from Adairs were actually on sale, I think like 20% off. I don't know if they have a sale on at the moment, but I'll, I will tell you what I paid if I can remember. And also I'll put like current prices on screen and link them below for you as well in case you are interested in taking a look i just really like this it feels quite sturdy so we still got the tag yeah so this is the adairs Masai basket palm leaf laundry basket and it is 44 centimeters diameter 54 centimeters high okay and it does have the original price on here it's 99.99 so this thing is normally a hundred i didn't pay that i must have paid about 80 dollars then it's still a lot of money this is something that i know we will definitely have 
forever. The next thing that I got from Adair is this little bathroom pedal bin. I just really liked the look of the colour online and it is the round dustbin 30 by 20 centimeters in the color desert sand the original price is 44.99 which seems like a lot for a bin but also it's a really pretty color it's coming up more rust on camera like compared to these cushions but I don't know, I just really like it and I wanted some warmer tones in the bathroom. I got some new towels. These are the Home Republic Archie bath towels. And they are so soft. I'll just show you because they have like an arch pattern that kind of reminds me of a rainbow. Can you see that? These were quite expensive too, but I, I didn't pay full price. So they're normally $39.99, 70 by 140 centimeters. And these are in the color clay. And I just thought they would go really nicely with the little bathroom bin. But also the last thing that I purchased was this like a runner rug. I think it's definitely coming up a bit lighter on screen, but this is from the HR Tivoli rug collection and it's 60 by 130 centimeters in Mimi Rust. The full price of this is $99.99. But I just think that the colors are really nice and they go with like the warm colour tones of the bin and the towel. I plan on putting this on the floor just in front of where our bathroom vanity is. So when we're washing our hands and we're standing on the tiles, we're not getting cold feet. And yeah, I think it just goes with the other nice warm toned pieces that I got for the bathroom. So that was everything that I have purchased for my home recently. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more home and lifestyle and moving content coming very soon. But yeah, that is it from me for now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Bye.